Hey, what is up mga bubuig? You're Matt Beesverse back from our video and we're back for another problem involving normal shear in bearing practice problems. So, ayun nga mga bees, no? Problem number 2 na tayo. Okay, so dito sa ating problem number 2, sabi, the cylindrical steel column has an outer diameter of 4 inch and an inner diameter is 3.5 inch. Ibig sabihin ito mga bees, hollow yam. May butas sa loob, Okay. So, uh, idudraw ko yan sa top view, 3D. Wow. Yum. Ito yan. Yan yan, bees. Yan yan, mga bees. Okay? So, ito daw, mga bees, yung uh, ano tawag dito? Yung inner diameter niya is 3.5. Ito. This is 3.5. While yung outer diameter niya is 4. 4, diba? Yeah, tama. 4 inches. Ito, 4 inches yan, mga bees. Okay? 4 inches yan. Now, the column is separated from the concrete foundation by a square bearing plate. So, ito yung foundation, ito yung concrete foundation niya, semento yan. Tapos, merong nilagay silang plate dito, plate na bearing plate down. Now, sabi dito sa ating uh, given, the working compressive stress is 26,000 PSI for the column. So, ito yung steel, cylindrical steel column. Now, ang... Um, Working compressive stress is 26,000 PSI. Thus, compressive stress is a normal stress. So, that's sigma. Sigma is equals to 26,000. Diba? Compressive, can, compressive and tensile are normal stress. Huwag kakalimutan yun. Ibig sabihin, kapag sumobra ka dito sa 26,000 PSI, sira yung column mo. Okay, mga bis. And sabi, the working bearing stress is 1,204 PSI for the concrete. So, itong concrete natin, mga bis, no, ito. Itong concrete natin, itong ating semento, yung kayang hawakan lang yan na bearing stress is equal sa 1,200 PSI. That's uh, sigma B for bearing stress. Okay? So, kapag sumobra rin dito yung ating uh, bearing stress, or let's say, for example, 2,000 PSI pala yung bearing stress na nag-act dito, eh, patay. Sira yung pundasyon natin. Magka-crack yan. Ngayon, anong gagawin natin mga bis? Ang pinapatanong niya, ano yung sinosolve natin? Find the largest force P that can be applied to the column. So, ano daw dapat yung force P na in-apply natin sa column para safe din to, at the same time, safe din to. Walang masisira, ba? Kasi, yun naman yung goal na, end goal natin dito eh. We are uh, solving for the proper loads, kung ano yung tamang bigat na mga bagay-bagay para hindi siya mag-overload kasi pag nag-over na yan eh yun patay kawawa masyado Pas, lalo kapag let's say for example pundasyon to ng bahay ayun nakakatakot yun so dito tayo kailangan nating hanapin kung ano yung maximum P P max in terms of our column and P max in terms dito sa ating bearing stress okay sa ating foundation which is the concrete so simulan natin dito we know that uh, normal stress is equals to P, which is ito, ito nga yung P, divided by the area which is perpendicular sa P. So, yung area perpendicular is only this area, di ba? Except yung nasa gitna. So, ito lang yung area na yun, mga bis. So, that area is equal to the area of the big circle. Tapos, isubtract natin yung buta sa loob. Minus area of the small circle. So, area of the big circle is pi over 4 times d. Ano yung diameter ng big circle? That's 4 inch. So, that's 4 inch squared. Minus, ano yung area ng small circle? That's pi over 4. Ano yung diameter? Diameter is 3.5. 3.5 inch. Ito is square pa natin ito, mga bis. Now, i-factor out natin yung... Uh, pi over 4, diba? Kasi common factor naman, pi over 4. This is equal to 4 inch squared minus 3.5 inch squared. So, ito yung area na perpendicular dito sa force P. So, let's just draw na may force P dyan. Yun yung perpendicular dito sa ating force P. Thus, given yung ating, uh, given ito, which is 26,000 PSI, ito yung ating tinatawag na maximum normal stress, no? Ito yung ating, di ba? Working compressive stress is also known, is synonymous to a maximum or the allowable stress. Same lang yung tatlong yun. Iba-iba lang yung pangalan. Okay? Ngayon, 
ang sinosolve natin is ito. So, since this is uh, maximum stress, this is also P max. And ito yung sinosolve natin. Given yung stress, given yung area, thus we can solve for P max. So, P max is therefore equal to 26,000 pounds per square inch times yung ating area which is pi over 4 times 4 squared minus 3.5 squared. No? Hindi ko nilalagay yung inches kasi magka-cancel rin naman. So, magka-cancel siya dito. Thus, P max is equal yan mga bisa 26,000 times pi over 4 times 4 squared minus 3.5 squared. Thus, we will have our answer which is equal to 76,576 uh, pounds. Okay? So, ito yung P max dito sa column. No? Considering that the maximum normal stress is 26,000 PSI. So, teka lang. Erase ko to. So, ibig sabihin mga bis, no? Uh, this load P should not exceed 76,576. Kasi kapag sumobra, let's say 77,000, magbe-fail yung column natin. So, dyan yung limit lang ng ating column. Okay? Yan yung, kayang load, yan yung load na kayang hawakan lang ng ating column. Ngayon, i-consider naman natin yung ating footing, the concrete footing. Sabi, the bearing stress for the concrete is, all, is just 1,200 PSI. So, how do we solve for bearing stress? Bearing stress max is equal yan mga bisa. That's P also. That's P max over area. Pero ano yung area? Tingnan natin kung saan nag apply yung ating tinatawag na uh, bearing stress. no? So, i-draw ko dito. May plate dito. Okay? May plate dito mga bis plate yan. And this has a length of given yan as 7 inches mga bis. Okay? So, kung ito yung column natin, Lahat ng uh, force na P is matatransfer dito sa uh, bearing plate na to, which is 7 inches with width. So, this is force P, no? Nakatutok rin dyan yung force P. Ngayon, yung ating column, yung ating concrete, which is ito, andito naman yung ating concrete. Okay. Sabi natin, di ba, sa ating previous videos, bearing stress happens when there is a compressive forces acting between two separate bodies. Eh, we have two separate bodies. This is the concrete and this is the metal plate. Saan yung contact point nila? Yung contact point nila is this part. Okay? Itong part lang na to. So, ano yung area kung saan sila nag-contact? This is that area. So, paano natin masosolve? Alam natin na so, ito yung bearing plate. Yan. Ibig sabihin, yung area ng bearing plate, yun din yung area na to. This is given as 7 inches. Pero ano tong length niya? Tingnan natin yung ating problem. Sabi, the column is separated from the concrete foundation by ito, square bearing plate. Ibig sabihin, same yung length siya ka-width. So, square pala to. So, this is 7 by 7. Dito, ito lang yung nakapatong dito sa ating uh, footing. Okay? So, dito sa ating footing. Thus, ito yung area na hinahanap niya. So, we can now solve for our P max. Thus, P max is equal to anong ating bearing maximum? That's 1,200 PSI. 1,200 pounds per inch square times yung area which is 7 inch times 7 inch. So, that's 7 inch squared. So, solving for that, our P max is therefore equal to 1,200 times 7 square is equal to 58,000 58,800 Pounds, okay? So, we found our two answers. We have 2 P max. Ngayon, i-analyze na natin mga bis. Alin sa dalawang to, alin sa dalawa yung hinahanap natin? Na dapat, uh, kapag gagamitin natin yung P max na to, is safe lahat ng parts ng ating uh, body. Okay, simulan na natin dito sa ating, uh, sa ating P max, considering yung dito sa ating column. So, dito sa ating column, di ba na-solve natin that the Pmax is 76,576 pounds. Thus, kapag in-apply natin yung 76,000 dito, safe yung ating column. Okay, walang problema. Pero, since itong P rin na to yung mag a dito sa ating bearing plate na mag a dito sa ating concrete, sa tingin nyo ba, mag-fail to o hindi? 
mga bis, na-solve natin na yung kayang load lang ng ating concrete is 58,000 lang. Ibig sabihin, kapag nag-apply ka dito ng 76,000, sira yung footing mo, sira yung foundation mo. Patay, di ba? Ngayon, ibig sabihin, itong ito, hindi ito applicable. Pwede siya, safe siya for the column, pero hindi sa safe, safe, safe. Hindi, sa, <laughs> hindi siya safe para sa footing. Okay, so punta naman tayo dito sa baba. Itong 58,000, kapag gagamitin ba natin dito sa column, safe ba siya? Yes, definitely. Kasi yung maximum is 76,000, eh mas malayong mas mababa to. So, safe yung column. So, punta naman tayo dito sa ating foundation. Safe ba yung 58,000 for the foundation? Yes. Kinalculate natin na 58,000 yung limit niya. So, safe siya dito. Safe siya rin dito. Ibig sabihin, this is the most safe. Ito yung pinaka-safe na value ng P na gagamitin. So, this is our final answer, mga bis. Alright? So, ayan. I hope nag-gets nyo yung concept, no? Huwag kayong mag-focus sa formula, mga bis. No? It's better to grasp kung ano yung ano yung meaning niya, ano yung mga nangyayari. Just memorize it formula. I don't uh, recommend that mga B. So, yeah. I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. We still have one problem more na no? medyo mas mahirap siya. About trivets na ma'am sa ating trusses. And so, solve natin yan sa ating next video kasi mahaba-haba na itong video natin. So, ayan mga bis. Uh, I hope may natutunan kayo. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please comment down below. At muli, ako po yung bubuyog na nagpapalala sa inyong maglakbay, mag-enjoy, maglaro, manaliksik. Maging matinik. Jabby out.